what we have today. Let me share my screen. OK. And. OK, OK. Well, so ah, as, as I remember, we read this one. <laughs> Yeah, we read the story. <laughs> uh, and now, OK, so we got to match the words, OK, to part of speech that then to a definition. So first of all, let's see if they're verb, if they're noun, if they're adjective, and then match them to the definitions, OK? OK. OK, well, so the first one. So do you think bump is a verb, is adjective? Or what? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? OK, okay. so let's see. Well, 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 how about this? Of course, let me say something, some end. Let me sometimes some words can be used as verb or noun, both of them. But here, so bump is verb and OK, let's see the definition. Which one can you guess? It's a sound or to hit something or to knock or run into something by accident or very light and easy to break. I think it. Um, to, um, the sound make when someone was walking. Not, not, not. Noun? No. Here's something with heart of no. no, 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 and of course we have A or B, so both of them are verbs, so you can match. So this one or this one, both. Whose tip is the nail? What? Whose tip is the nail? Footsteps, okay, of course, noun and definition. The sound make when someone was walking, is walking. Very good and delicate. I think it's Verb? Nope. Adjective. <laughs> of course, it's adjective. adjective. Yeah. Right. Of course. And pound. Verb. Okay. Verb. Okay. Okay. To hit something. Yeah. With a hurry. Object. Okay, very good. Well, and so we talked about this one. And uh, actually, we're going to uh, read this one, but, or maybe listen, but it's not bad to make some sentences using these words. For example, can you make a sentence using bump? Um, can you? I think um not yet enough. Um yes. What? Yes. Uh, nope. Think about it. So I'm really important to yeah. Because we learned the meaning I of them, so it's not that you So, for example, for example, he bumped his elbow on the table. Boom. Yeah. So, you say. He boom. He boom. Yeah. Something on the table. <laughs> oh, you copied mine. It's not good. <laughs> I don't have any. Um, it's not good. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, so you, yeah, it means like you know to hit. So yeah, of course it's okay. You can say something. So hand, elbow, so okay. And the next one, footsteps. Her footstep, like she was very happy. Yeah, of course. So, for example, it was night. The footsteps came closer as she listened. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Delicate. Mm. Delicate. The the pieces very delicate. Yeah. It's not easy to break. It's not easy to what? Break. Break. Okay, delicate. Do you know the meaning of delicate? Yes. Well, I think, for example, when something is delicate, as I told you, it's like, you know, uh, for example, well, just, you know, you learned just now, it's like very light, easy to break. But, you know, actually, uh, you can say something else. For example, the colors are really delicate, you know, it's like so nice, so light. You know what I say? So it's not just everything that okay. For example, it can be broken because it's really light. No. For example, oh, uh, that is really delicate. For example, it looks really hard, but actually is very delicate. So this way you can use it. And we have the next one. So, for example, silk is you know let me show you something that is really good to know look at this one if i can find it that will be great this one moment okay well well silk i have silk here if i can find it the overgrade silk silk okay ah here look you know silk this fabric you know this is delicate can you see yeah it's like really light okay so this way you can use it and the next one the sound made when someone is walking teacher yeah uh, does your hair has something very delicate uh, sorry I, I couldn't i couldn't hear could you does say again do your hair has something is very do your hair has something very delicate. Okay, do you your house? Yeah? Your have your house has something very delicate. Okay, you're making again. Okay, one by one, because you know you are making mistake when making your sentence. Again, do you have something delicate at home, you mean? Yeah. Of course. I have a lot. I have fabric, I have, for example, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, let me see, ah, for example, cake. When I make cake, yeah, it's very delicate. It's, it's like airy, so it's like, you know, you know that, especially using eggs. So I think it's really delicate. So this one. How about you? Um, no, no thing. <laughs> Nothing. No way. <laughs> okay. Well, and the next one, the last word.
Um, nhá. Boxers. The word is. Nhá. Because it's like you know. Okay. Um, to hit something. Very hard, like boxers. The, the door. Yeah. The door pals me. So, the door. The door <laughs> no. It's not right. How? The door can't. <laughs> we pound yeah. the door. I pound the door. <laughs> okay, so yeah, of course. So for example, yeah, so you know that. Uh, so have you ever seen boxing competition? What? So boxing, boxing, boxing. Have you ever seen boxing? Yeah. So, of course, you know that boxers actually really pound each other like them. them. So this is a good example. OK, well, let's see what we have here. I thought I came early for the movie. Did you read it, please? OK, I can't. today I have cold. I can't read. Uh. <laughs> Is okay. Yeah. Um. And you, I come early for the movie. I come early yeah. to attend you. We still at the end of the line. Harry came the earliest. In fact, he was first person here. That's it. Person, person. Okay. Person. So that's, you know that because it's actually when you when you pronounce something incorrectly that is mispronounced, you may change the meaning of it. So that's really important. Person. Okay. Well, and oh, comparative superlative adjective. Okay, Mary, you know the structure, right? Yeah. Okay. Can you teach me? Uh, <laughs> the okay. comparative is yeah. when we like we mm, we talk about the teacher, teacher. Day. You I are like not it. sharing, teacher. You are not sharing your camera. It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is when we talk about one thing and one thing, and like we. The thing, that thing work bigger, the first thing bigger than and there's the second thing we thought that um, like when it's the short adjective, we just yeah. we when it's a short adjective, we plus the er and the tense. I don't know how to say yeah. it. Teacher, teacher, when we use either than, when we use more than? More will, more will in the long adjective. Yeah. The long adjective. Could you give me an example, please? Um, is the long adjective, like, Mm. More beautiful. Ah, okay. Just my okay. How to make a sentence? Could you please give me a sentence? The snake more beautiful than the cat. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. And how about ear then? Here then like the
Um, it's smaller than the mouth. It's smaller than the elephant. Yeah, more what? The mouth smaller than the elephant. Teacher, I can hear. Teacher, you even okay? Still okay? I want you to write. For example, I can talk like you know, teacher, teacher. How to say that I need you to write? Yeah. <laughs> You don't even write, teacher. It's not for how you are teaching me. So what the method is, I need to guess what you're saying. Teacher, I will write, I will write. you're not even sharing your camera, teacher. Not writing, not it's sharing not your that. camera, teacher. Teacher, I will fail my exam because of your teaching uh, method. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> be good teacher, be good teacher. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> teacher, what was that? Yes, You're teaching teacher, everyone more interesting than the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, teacher, teacher, I've had cold. What can I do? <laughs> you can stay at home. I'm at home, teacher. I'm at home, mom. <laughs> uh, okay, so let me see. Okay, so hello. Okay, you're typing, still typing. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay, the mouse is smaller than the elephant, of course, but you can say mouse, teacher, because you know when you say the mouse, I feel like that I heard or I know that which mouse. So we say a mouse, mouse, just you know, any mouses. It means so every mouse is smaller than every elephant. So very good, teacher. I got it. And how about superlative? So what is superlative, teacher? Superlative when we like we have three things, and one thing is biggest. We oh, it. oh, got it. That was really good. Okay, thank you, teacher. Now, could you help me, please, uh, answering this question? So, correcting words, of course, you know, circling the correct word. So, he ran faster than or the fastest in the race. Um. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Teacher, yeah, he I ran. Don't, I don't know. He ran faster than. Faster than who, teacher? He ran fa the fastest in the race. The fastest, very good. Number two, I jumped. I jumped higher than Rick. Okay, teacher, it's not then. That is then. 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 That, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, very. Our class. Walker more hardly can okay, get walked. Okay, walked more walked. quietly. Yeah, walked more quietly than their class. Very good. Okay, and now who sleeps the latest? Just let me say something. So as you know, we can make comparative and superlative adjectives and adverbs not only adjectives we have adverbs for example this one you as you can see here this one is an adverb not an adjective so you know that when we have b m is r was a verb so you, we use adjective you are, for example, smarter than, so it's okay. But sometimes, of course, we have different verbs, like walk, like, for example, play, okay, like drive, for example, my dad drives, okay, I can say, for example, slower, like this, this one, so I can say more, than my mom. So we can also use adverb more or sometimes less. 
Okay? Well, and as you can see, here, superlative adverbs. For example, more beautifully. Okay? Or the most beautifully, but when we have another word. For example, uh, teacher, can you please give me an example using a, a comparative adverb, not adjective? Um, adverb, not adjective. Yeah, adverb. And an L-Y. Okay. Hey, Slowly. You... Slowly. Uh, of course, just make sentence. Yeah, uh, I need. Um, it, the, the mouth is noisily. Stop. No, when you say R or E's, noisy. A noisily is adverb, so we need another verb. His voice, no, he's talking noisily. Yeah, very good. But you know more now. OK, comparative or superlative? Um, he talks. Noisily tan speak. Yeah, of course. Noisily Dan, of course, very good. Yeah, you can yeah. say, that. yeah, very good, very good. Well, okay, and now let's see. We have this table and we're going to complete it together. Make a chart to compare yourself with two other students. Okay, so you, so your classmate, your classmate. Okay, so who sleeps the latest? Who sleeps the later? For example, let me write. I say 11 p.m. and 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. For example. So, who sleeps the latest? Who? Who what? Who sleeps the latest? Um, I don't know. You, you can see, dear me, yeah. classmate, classmate. You can see. Oh, who's slips? Me. You. Okay. Who can reach? Oh, okay. For example, no, this one. So, who wakes up the earliest? Classmate. Yeah, of course, my classmate. Okay, wakes up the earliest. Just don't forget about making complete sentence. Okay, not only just classmate. So you know that. Well, and now, what is your favorite invention, and why is it your favorite? Okay, you tell me. What is that, and why? Yarp. Hmm. My favorite invention is um, um animation. Uh, like how to make a film animation. <laughs> how to make animated films? No, like we um have a to make like the invention team human special effect or for example so human yeah animation so this yeah. genre maybe yeah okay well but i don't know maybe it's kind of invention maybe yeah, yeah. and why why is it your favorite my dear because the film is, you know, I have a favorite character and she's 
fast your um, um, animation. Yeah. So, for example, don't you think internet, laptop, so none of them. So, can you imagine your life without phone, without internet, without your laptop? So, can you? Can you imagine your life without technology, for example? Mm. Yeah. I think, yes. Yeah, really? How yeah. easy. Yeah, okay. Well, so let's like listen. It, it can. Of course, it's possible, you mean? But maybe it's not easy. But actually, we need it. So let's listen and match each name with an invention, okay? Uh, well, did you say anything? I couldn't hear you. I didn't. You didn't? Okay. Well, just one moment. That is number. Okay, let me check. 240. Okay. 240. Uh, Why well, I'm this way. <laughs> Let's see. I think this one. Page 142. Listening. A. Listen. Match each name with an invention. 1. We walked around town yesterday to find out what modern inventions people like best. Hi, Akila. What's your favorite invention? Hmm. My favorite invention is the computer. Why is the computer your favorite? I can email my friends and listen to my favorite music. Thanks, Akila. Great choice. Two. Hi, Dennis. What's your favorite invention? I like my cell phone. I can call my friends and my parents can reach me anytime. Thanks, Dennis. Three. Hana, what's your favorite invention? I love to travel to other countries by airplane. An airplane can take me there quickly. I love traveling by plane, too. Eduardo, what's your favorite invention? I love to watch movies, so my favorite invention is the television. Do you watch other programs? Yes, I watch soccer games every weekend. Me too. Ah, you sent me an image. Let me check. Okay, let me check. Okay, one moment, please. Let me see, let me see. Okay. Oh, so. Oh, what is this? Denise? That is B? <laughs> okay, sorry. Hannah, she knew it's okay. Yeah, right, correct, perfect. It's too hard to write. Of course, using mouse. And you see, I can draw by mouse. So <laughs> it's difficult, of course. Well, and now listen again and match each invention with two reasons. Two reasons, okay? So let's listen again. Page 142. Listening. A. Listen. Match each name with an invention. 1. We walked around town yesterday to find out what modern inventions people like best. Hi, Akila. What's your favorite invention? Hmm. My favorite invention is the computer. Why is the computer your favorite? I can email my friends and listen to my favorite music. Thanks, Akila. Great choice. Two. Hi, Dennis. What's your favorite invention? I like my cell phone. I can call my friends and my parents can reach me anytime. Thanks, Dennis. 
three. Hannah, what's your favorite invention? I love to travel to other countries by airplane. An airplane can take me there quickly. I love traveling by plane too. Eduardo, what's your favorite invention? I love to watch movies, so my favorite invention is the television. Do you watch other programs? Yes, I watch soccer games every weekend. Me too. Teacher, can I hear again? Yeah, of course. Oh, add, add. Page 142. Okay. Listening. A. Listen. Match each name with an invention. One. We walked around town yesterday to find out what modern inventions people like best. Let me check. Hi, Akila. What's your favorite invention? Hmm. My favorite invention is the computer. Why is the computer your favorite? I can email my friends and listen to my favorite music. Thanks, Akila. Great choice. Two. Hi, Dennis. Let me check. What's your favorite invention? I like okay, my cell okay, phone. Let me, let me, let me stop. I can it. call. Okay, now you sent me. Oh, you, you say what did you want? I can't, I can't see. Okay, so it can be A and A and G. Very good. Okay, one, number two. Okay, C and E. Perfect. Airplane, D and F. Perfect. And B and H. Very good, of course. That's perfect. Very good. Well, and now. So let's talk about your past habits. Uh, Mary, do you remember something that you did in the past, but now you don't? Yep, I used yeah, I so. to. What did you? Um, yeah. I used to watch like the movies of like a uh, church, the fairy tale. No, now I have watched it. Uh, like I don't know, but um, I don't that movie name. Yeah, so, and something that you didn't do in the past, but now you do. Um, um, when I was young, very young, when I was very young, was a baby, I... I don't like to go to my grandpa's house. Yeah, you didn't go, now you do? Yeah, because I think that like, travel is so long, the, the, like, the time is so long and it's very bored. Yeah, it's very boring. Yes. You and when I was young, very young, like six or seven years, I... Yeah? I, I can't, I, like, I can't, I didn't. I can't climb tree and I can't fly. <laughs> well, actually, of course, now all I of us. So we had some habits in the past, but now we don't. Or maybe we didn't do something in the past, but now we do. So you know how to use used to. That is really good. So you know that to talk about our past habits, we use used to or with, but now we're going to talk about the difference between, so used to, and what is the structure? I used to, for example, play badminton when I was child, but now I don't, or I want to make negative, because it passed, I didn't, I didn't used to, I didn't used to, used to play so as you can see because i said didn't now i removed d just used to play to question to make question you say did you did you used to play badminton 
when you were a child? So you say, yes, I did. So this is about used to. We also have a word that can be used for past habits. For example, I would play. So after used to, after would, we use base form of verb, not ed, not ing. So I would play or I wouldn't. I would fight. Or for a question, would you? Would you play? OK, now we're going to talk about the difference. So what's the difference between used to and would? So both of them can be used for past habits, but how? So, as I told you, we can use used to to talk about past habits that are yeah. not true anymore. I used to live in New York when I was a child, but now I don't. Or, for example, I didn't used to play soccer. Now I do, for example. Did you used to have a garden? So, but about wood. So again, we use about past habits, but past actions. For example, every Saturday, and repeat it, every Saturday, I would go, for example, on a long bike ride. Oh, every Saturday in the past, so I use would. Or, for, for example, my dad, would read me amazing stories every night at bedtime. So let me write here, then we can talk about them. So you know used to, I'm not going to talk about it. So used to for any action or non-action verbs. For example, I used to have a guard in the past. Now I don't. Now I say for repeated, repeated actions, actions. We use would in the past. For example, look. My dad would read, for example, amazing stories every night at bed time. Now he doesn't, but time in the past he did so that is repeated action okay or every for example Sunday we would go to the church now we don't we would go so every Sunday OK, so this is about what that is the difference. And you know, for example, uh, we went, I don't know, to the beach every summer. You can say we used to go to the beach every summer or we would go. Both of them are OK, used to or would. OK, so both of them. But how, for example, I used to, I used to like red color, but now I don't. I used to like it, but I don't say I would like it. So for past habits, when talking about non-action verbs, there is no action here. When I say like, just like. When I say have, just have. There is no action. Go is action. Eat is action. Play is action. But like is not action. So we don't say would. We say used to. So that is a difference between used to and would. OK, my dear? OK. Well, now let's see. OK. We used to. Could you read this one, please? You use you to or would to talk about things you did in the past, but not anymore. When I was a little, I used to live with the teddy bear. Now I don't live with the teddy bear. When I was five, I would call a picture with crayons. Now I plan to cure with watercolors. Of course, very good. So in some, in most cases, we can use used to or would. Both of them are acceptable. OK, well, and now could you please uh, give me two examples using would and used to? OK. Mm. 
When I was little, I used to scare the roar, the the god. <laughs> so you used to? Yeah. But now the god will scare me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, and what? Um, when I was a little, I would like a sunny day, but now I'm not. Okay, so I went. Okay. So you would, and you know, could you please make two sentences to show the difference between would and used to? Mm, so do you remember would, repeated action, for example? What will what mean is have in the past and you do mean it have in the past too. Yeah. Again, please. What mean what and you do are both talk about the past. Okay, let me say. Yeah, of course, what is used to talk about past habits, but for repeated action, look. In the past, my dad would read me amazing stories every night, repeated action every night. So I use would. Would is like, you know, exactly similar to used to. So, but when we use repeated action, we talk about repeated action so we can use would. But when we have stated verb, do you know stated verbs? No. Like love. Hate, like, you know, yeah, etc. So we don't use would for past habits. We don't use with state verbs. So I don't say, I don't say, I would, for example, like, okay, history in the past. I do say I would like because this is not about past. So no, no, no. I say I used to like. I used to like. Okay. So I used to like is correct. When we have stative verbs, when talking about past habits, we use used to, not would. Get it? Yes. Okay. Now, can you give me an example, please? Okay. I used to like. I used to hate to go to my grandpa house. Very good. I used to hate, but you know, you you can say I used to it, but you don't say I would hate. Perfect. Very good. So that is a difference between these two. Yeah, excellent. Okay. Well, my dear, I will send you, beautiful, I will send you a worksheet okay, about used to and would, and I want you to do it. Okay. And then at the next session, we'll talk about it. Okay. Okay. Do you have any questions related to this, Brian? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any questions? Yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Okay, my dear. Okay. Well, so have a you something. Of course you can share me something. You can share me everything, my dear. Okay. I have I mm, well let me see. Where is that? Where is it? I will see it now. Where are you? Ah, uh, let me see. What are you sharing? Wait, can you wait? Tell me, teacher. Um, 
is here. Okay, I I'm trying to see, but I can't see it. I okay, can't. Do you know, oh, my next class <laughs> just started. <laughs> I need to go. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, so you, you send me, okay? I, I, send I me, make, okay? I make, I make a house. So just you will send me, okay? Okay. Okay, my dear. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.